Hi everyone. I thought I'd demonstrate the simple process of creating a small grid so you could see how I do it, a hands-on approach. Simply I'm taking two plants, Salvia Wisui and Coreopsis Zagreb. They both have similar growth habits, but the Coreopsis Zagreb has a little slower growth rate. So the Salvia will flower in mid-May and reach maturity by mid-June and then rebloom again also in early July. So because this growth rate is a little bit uh, slower for the Coreopsis, I'm going to use a few more out of the total square footage. My total square footage is 6 by 12, 72 square feet, but I'm actually planting 55 square feet because I'm not planting the edges. I'm going in somewhat in maybe 6 inches to 12 inches within the, the area. So that, with that, on 18 inch centers, 16, 18 inch centers, I'll use 24 to 25 plants. And again, my goal is for them to knit together tightly and yet not discourage, not let each plant discourage each other from having a good life. So the circles are the Coreopsis and the triangle is the Salvia. So I've put in the Coreopsis, I've got one here, I'm gonna add another one here. That'll give me about 15 plants. And then I just space in the Salvia Wisui quickly like this. And this may seem quick, but I'm not done when I'm done. I actually am going to review this maybe four or five times just to see how everything is filling in. So when I do this, I'm complete, but I'm not complete because now is my review time. I'll look at this. I'll see, do I have too many salvias? What's going to happen with this Coreopsis? So I think because the salvia is quicker, has a faster growth rate, I'm going to take out that one salvia and I'm going to add another Coreopsis agrib here. And that way the Coreopsis won't get outcompeted within three to four years and should develop a better relationship with the uh, salvia wisui. So I look over here, the one salvia wisui can maintain itself if the Coreopsis moves into it a little quicker. It's getting light from the side here, so it'll be able to collect light and maintain a healthy life. The same with the Coreopsis here, it'll be able to collect light and maintain a healthy life. And again, that depends on what this part of the garden relates to next. And that's the next grid you create will relate that planting to this one. So it's continually putting patterns together and based on the relationship of one pattern to the next, how they meet and how they collect light and how that light collection enables them to stay strong and healthy. So I hope this simple diagram has helped. And if you do have questions, we'll try to answer them. You can comment in the comments below. And I appreciate all questions. Have a great day and, and thanks for thanks for being here today. See you later.